All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page, 6 o'clock show. You know what it is, man. Hey, man, look. So today, today, we're going to be talking about what to expect from Kendrick Lamar and him doing the Super Bowl. Is he going to bring Lil Wayne out? Or is he going to do something that's totally different from what he usually do? You know what I'm saying? Is it going to be more New Orleans based? We're going to get into it, man. So let's get to it, man. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. Also single, beautiful, sexy, voluptuous, or skinny. Ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. That's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, you can. Links is on the screen. Cash App and PayPal is in the description as well. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Let me know where you're from. I really like to know where people are from. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 313. I said, well, I was about to say 300,000. No. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 10,000. Tomorrow, I'll have a million subscribers when I wake up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go viral. One day, I will. So, look, we're going to get into it, man. We'll watch this video. He's going to break it down. And we'll come back and discuss. You know what it is, man. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get to it. Let's do it. After a lengthy period of silence, Kendrick has come back to the public light with an insane announcement that might confirm he is getting ready to cook Drake once again like we all witnessed a few months ago. So obviously, I'm sure all of you saw the recent announcement from Kendrick himself confirming he is going to be performing at the upcoming Super Bowl being held in New Orleans. Just like that. You ready? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what the deal, everybody? My name is Kendrick Lamar, and I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? I hope so. Just the fact that this is even happening is kind of wild and could also be a sign Kendrick is going to drop his new album prior to February of next year. I think it would be pretty stupid to do an event as big as the Super Bowl and not have it tie in somehow to an album rollout. Plus, this new Kendrick project has... Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. This guy, I don't know, Kendrick Lamar... Ever since he's been by himself, he's been making crazy moves. This just lets me know that he's very intelligent. Whoever he has around him, they're very smart. They're very strategic. But he's been doing stuff outside of Top Dog. And he only got, he only went up. Now, Top Dog, I have a big a very good theory about top dog and his and his and a lot of people might not they might hate this but i think top dog is one of the best labels in hip-hop history to be honest with you because all of the artists they have over there they're all good artists and they all are household names to a certain extent now they're not as popular as kendrick maybe SZA. But they all have standout projects. And I would even say they all have a classic under their belt. All of them. So this to me, him moving on and still connected to TDE, you know what I'm saying? Talk Dog Entertainment. And then, yeah. This is crazy, man. Been getting teased for months now since the first beef round concluded. I would say the most logical way to go about things is for Kendrick to do his full album rollout and release leading up to the Super Bowl and then perform all of his new music there along with some all-time classics and of course the Drake diss tracks. I would bet all the money in my bank account that Kendrick is going to perform not like us specifically and he may even have a small reenactment of the pop out show by bringing multiple now this is what i will say 
um, this is my opinion. I think that I don't know if he's going to do not like us in its in, in its entirety. I honestly think that Kendrick Lamar should do the Super Bowl in the next that Friday or the, whatever he drop his album. Now, some people will say he should drop his album before the Super Bowl and then perform the songs like the guy said. But I think that he should drop his album the next day. That's what I think. You know what I mean, either way he take it, it's going to be good. I guess a, a better marketing strategy would be the other way, would be to do his, drop his album maybe a week before the Super Bowl or two weeks before the Super Bowl. And then, and then, excuse me, ride the momentum into the Super Bowl because the Grammys is right there too. So you would do your album, then the Grammys, then the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's crazy. Full artists up on stage. Certified Pookie Man, I'm the one that up to walk him down. Whole time I know he got some pull on him. Extra shit, bully to roll him. Say Drake, I hear you like him. You better not ever go to sell black. To any nigga talk to him and they in love, just make sure you hide your little sister from him. The big question is really who will Kendrick be featuring during his performance since most Super Bowl shows generally have guest performers that come out along with the main act. I would say Dr. Dre is almost a lock because of his ability to pull in views from a wide range of ages and of course the work he did with Kendrick, but beyond that it's anyone's guess. I could see somebody like Future coming out to do like that, but honestly it's pretty up in the air besides the fact that Drake is obviously a guaranteed no. In fact, it seems that Drake and some of his associates are actually being barred from performing at the Super Bowl, including Lil Wayne, who seemed like an obvious pick considering he's from New Orleans, which is Wow. So what do they mean by they're barred? Lil Wayne is 41? I didn't even know that. He's old. Not old, but wow the game is being held. According to Cameron, this is due to Jay-Z specifically having beef with people like Wayne and Drake. Listen, I love Kendrick. But see, this is where he's wrong. Wayne don't have beef with... Be, Jay-Z doesn't have beef with Wayne. This is why people like Cameron should just shut up. Like, for real. Because you're just, you're just so in division, bro. Just be quiet. Because you're sitting here saying that he has a beef with 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 um with Wayne, he don't have a beef with Wayne. He doesn't. Lamar, I love to pop up. I think he's one of the top artists of this generation. Period. Hate this election. It's in New Orleans, you don't get Little Wayne. You, that's what we doing. There's no reason why Little Wayne should not be performing the Super Bowl. There's one person who's stopping this. <laughs> Little Wayne had a problem with somebody before, who's kind of part of the organization running it. This is payback. Who's that? Who's Little Wayne artist? Drake. <laughs> this was re. So who is it really about then? Is it about Drake or is it about Lil Wayne? Who is it about? Forced with a tweet later on from Nicki, who of course is a Drake and Wayne associate, basically calling out Jay-Z and Rock Nation for being haters and selecting Kendrick when the spot should have been given to Wayne. While it is true that Rock Nation selects who performs at the Super Bowl each year, I think it's undeniable that Kendrick was the obvious choice due to the way the rap beef played out. So basically, Lil Wayne never had a chance to begin with because he's just simply not as well known right now. Now the obvious question looming over this Super Bowl announcement is will Kendrick use this opportunity to throw shots at Drake or try to initiate a second round of beef? Interestingly enough, he literally says in the video that the Super Bowl is a one-time chance and there are no second rounds, which could be subtly hinting at something beef related. You know there's only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. Let's get it. Boom! I won't want you to miss it. Meet me in New Orleans, February 9th, 2025. Wear your best dress too. 
We'd been hearing from people like academics and Drake himself that round two of the rap beef would be commencing soon in spite of the Super Bowl show going to Kendrick. But apparently this second round for Drake is going to be completely different. According to an academics tweet, round two from Drake's perspective has nothing to do with running back the beef between Kendrick. And Ak later doubled down on this actually sharing during a live stream what exactly Drake is thinking. Drake has zero desire to go and get a, in a second bar for bar rap battle with Kendrick. I don't think he has any more interest in doing what we saw, which by the way was an amazing time, right? Because the judges and palette where the music is being re received at, he's not getting the same fair shake. So why would he do it again? Now, what, 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 what are we talking about here? What judges? You say he ain't getting a fair shake. What are we talking about? It's not about a fair shake. He got smoked. It's like, y'all got to come up with these excuses. He lost, bro. It's not about no fair shake. He lost. We're, who, who's the judges? The, the people was the judges. Kendrick was the underdog, bro. Remember that, right? Wasn't Drake. Kendrick was. He was the underdog. Everybody was saying he was going to lose. Everybody was, oh, come out. Yo, he ain't going. Fat Joe, he ain't dropping. Kendrick ain't going to say nothing. I don't think he going to say nothing. I think Kendrick dropped the next day. It's not nothing to do with no fair shake, bro. What he's considering game two, you got to ask him. But if you're thinking that Drake is eagerly sitting at home creating bars, trying to either bait, engage, or hope that Kendrick would entertain him in another battle, that is, that couldn't be further from the truth. This is kind of insane because it's basically Drake admitting defeat. Obviously, he's too prideful of a person to admit he got absolutely washed, so instead he's going to say that he was unfairly judged by people with bias biases when in reality he just simply lost the battle. And of course he doesn't want to go song for song with Kendrick again because he literally got destroyed doing that originally. So basically we still don't know what round two even is, but if I had to guess it's probably just Drake rolling out a new album of some sort which is really not a round two at all. He's most likely just going to piggyback off the publicity and hype of a potential second round while throwing sneak disses or subtle shots at Kendrick in his new music. With Kendrick's Super Bowl performance and Drake's upcoming round two, it seems like these two are finally going to go album for album, which might end up being the true second round everyone's been waiting for. While it might not look the same as previously with the two going song for song, I have no doubt that both albums will be filled to the brim with shots being thrown at each respective side. Regardless, I still think it's hilarious that Academics blatantly stated on stream that Drake knows he lost and has acknowledged he can't possibly hope to win playing the same type of game. Of course, only time will tell. That's true. He can't, he can't. Bro. <laughs> Yo, look at this, bro. That's crazy. Bro, that's crazy. I'm screenshot that. That might be the uh that might be the cover. The cover art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh my God, bro. With these two, but it is undoubtedly going to be a very exciting end of 2024 and start of 2025 for rap fans. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Yeah, man. Yeah, I already know link's going to be in the description. Ooh, da -da -doo, da -doo. The very first time I saw your brown eyes. I think I want to do a, a, a breakdown of slow songs and laugh at these dudes, how soft they are in the music. <laughs> Some of the shit you niggas were saying. Oh, my God, bro. I'm like, God, this nigga's a simp. <laughs> Just come back. <laughs> I know you cheated on me, baby. I know you cheated on me. I know you slept with my, my cousin when I was in the shower. I know you slept with him in the bed, but I forgive you.
Just come back, baby. I need you. Just come back. <laughs> Get the fuck. Yo, some of you R&B niggas, man. Oh, my God, bro. I'm going to break down some of y'all lyrics, man, so I can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Soft ass niggas. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Anyway, man, look. I definitely think that Kendrick is going to do something epic at this joint, bro. I definitely think so. Um, do I think that uh, Drake, I, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I just see Drake not really recovering from this. I just don't see it. I don't see it. I just don't. The more and more this goes on, the more and more he looks weak. And again, he should have just kept going. He wouldn't, I, if I were him, I would have did the Joe Buttons. You know, you know what the Joe Buttons is. I would have just kept rapping. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been that. But uh, yeah, man, this is crazy. All right, man. Y'all have a good night, man. See y'all in the morning. Peace. <laughs>